links Kenya to Uganda. Also, it'll make several stopovers, including Moisbridge, Kaplamai, Sibanga, among other areas in this region. And with me, I have key leaders in this region, just to paint us a picture of what we expect when President Uhuru Kenyatta will come anytime from now at this place. Uh, thank you. My name is Dr. Robert Pukose. I'm the member of parliament for Endebes constituency. And uh, where we are is uh, Kwanza constituency, which is a neighboring constituency. And basically, we've come here to receive His Excellency the President. Uh, he's going to land here. And once he lands here, we expect him to be able to address us. And then from here, we'll be able to head to Endebes. Transoya is, a, is an agricultural area, so basically this is an area that uh, is a maize uh, production area. It's the backbone for the country in terms of maize production. So we're expecting to be able to address issues pertaining uh, uh, prices of fertilizer, how we're going to be able to reduce the input in terms of uh, cost of inputs in terms of uh, farming in this area, okay. what is the cost of the maize production so that uh, the farmer can have the benefit for the maize. Okay. Let's also hear from you. I'm told that President Uru Kenyatta will visit ADC and uh, is going to also launch a multi-million project of the semen. Uh, my name is uh, Dr. Michael Mbito. I'm, uh, I'm the Senate uh, Jubilee aspirant for Transoya County. Yes, we're expecting uh, His Excellency the President and the Deputy President here in Cobos, and uh, we expect that he'll be visiting uh, Endebes, where uh, he intends uh, to launch uh, the bull station. We are trying to provide the farmer here with a very high quality semen to improve on our, on our, our stocks. Yes. Uh, for us here at Cobos and as leaders of Transoya, ours is to welcome His Excellency and uh, also we expect him to address numerous issues that are affecting our people. The land issue, we have people who don't have title deeds and uh, we expect that the president will be delivering some title deeds to us. Okay. Thank you very much. Let's also bring in Morris Kakai. President Ru Kenyatta is also going to issue more than 100,000 title deeds to residents. Uh, the issue of land here is in Gishu has been a perennial challenge to most farmers. Um, Morris Kakai Bissau is my name. I'm the Jubilee nominee for governorship. Uh, we're very happy today to receive His Excellency the President and the Deputy President. Uh, the issue of land uh, ownership has been quite a challenge, but we're happy today to announce that there'll be about 7,000 uh, title deeds being given by His Excellency. Uh, already the respective ministries have been uh, put into sort of top gear. They are working into addressing this issue. So today alone we're getting 7,000 titles and we assume in the next uh, coming months we'll have settled most of the issues we are doing with the title leads. Uh, one of the issues also, we, uh, His Excellency, will be addressing is the issue of um, uh, squatters. It's been a perennial problem here, but uh, we've raised it and uh, it's going to be addressed as um, the, His Excellency has proactively addressed it uh, in, in other areas. So I think uh, we're happy as Jubilee. Uh, president, you know, is walking the talk. He's okay. doing a lot of development, starting from land ownership. There are issues of roads which are uh, is being looked at. Uh, we know the uh, Endebes um, Swam so, Road is still yes. under the tendering process, but the respective uh, officials are also trying to expedite that. There are issues also like uh, water from Kabole, trying to put the second pipeline together with Waziri Eugene. That is being addressed. Um, and it should be in the next uh, trip when the president comes. So lots of development issues okay. that are Bona, being addressed today. Bona, Kakai, I'm also seeing the incumbent party, Kaemba, the governor of Transoya here, and uh, we are expecting a titanic battle between you and Kaemba. Are you ready for the duel? 